personal preference when naming a pointer of the file type, but you can name it whatever you want. To open a file, you would use the library function fopen, which is found in the stdio header file. The declaration for the fopen function looks like this. File name is a C where this file is located. You need to also include the path to the file in this string. Mode is a C string containing the file access mode. There are several. For example, R is used when you want to open the file for reading only. The string for reading the content positioned at the beginning of the file. W creates an empty file for writing. If a file with the same name already exists, the file is truncated to zero length. The mode A appends to the end of the file. A new file is created doesn't exist. W plus creates an empty file for both reading and writing. The file is created if it doesn't exist, otherwise it is truncated. The stream is positioned at the beginning of the file. The R plus mode opens a file reading and writing as well. The file must exist to do this. You may wonder what the difference between W plus and R plus is because both can read and write to a file. 
such as RB or AB plus and it will open the file in binary mode. Note that even if the file exists and you're trying to open it, F open can return null in the case that you don't have permissions to open the file. So it's always a good idea to check what the return value of f open is before you use the pointer to file. After you are done with the file, you will need to close it. This can be done with a library function fclose like this. fp is the pointer associated with the file to be closed. Let's create a new .c file and make an example of writing to and reading from a text file. The function we're going to make will prompt the user with the question, what is your favorite ASMR trigger? And it will save the user's response in a file. ASMR.txt. We need to include the standard input header file to let us use our file handling functions. And every C program needs a name. That'll be the only function we need for this short program. So string where we are going to store the user's response. And I'm going to assume that there aren't many triggers that will exceed a length of 19 characters. So I will make the array 20 characters long to make room for the null termination character, which will mark the end of their response. each element of the array to zero. I do this out of habit because I like to know that there isn't random garbage in my variables. Now we need to declare a pointer of type file and initialize it to null, which is also good practice. Now let's write a a file by the name asmr.txt using the w mode. If f open returns null, we know it's because the file exists, but we don't have permissions to edit it. It won't return null because we haven't created the file yet. What is your favorite ASMR trigger? And scanf is a function used to read formatted input from the standard input and store it in a variable. I'm going to show you two ways to use scanf to read user input, and then I'm going to update the function to use I find is an even better way for what we need to do. Scanf takes a C string and we're going to give it a width. Otherwise, it's possible to create a buffer overflow if the user enters more characters than they should. Then we're going to use printf user what their response was. fprintf will write the user's response to the file asmr.txt and then we're done with the file so we want to close it with fclose. your favorite ASMR trigger. Let's enter 
See you.